Welcome everyone. Today I will tell you a story of software development life cycle or SDLC. Before you start your career in IT as a software developer or website developer, mobile app developer, or as a software tester, you have to understand the concept of software development life cycle or SDLC. So I will not make it complicated. I will not make it sound like a rocket science. I will explain it in a very easy way. Um, that's how it should be. And I will make it sound like a storybook. So what is software development lifecycle or SDLC? SDLC is nothing but the process of developing a software or application or a website. Imagine if you own a restaurant and you need to create a website for your restaurant. So what, is the, what, are, what are the first few things that you will do? First of all, you will try to find a web design company or a web developer and give him the project for creating your website, right? So as part of this process, what are the first thing that you will need to provide that um, website company or software developer the first thing that you need to provide are the requirements you have to specify what types of restaurant website do you need what functionalities do you need do you need your customers to order online do you need your customers to view your restaurant menu online or is it or should be uh, a bunch of slideshows which uh, with flash animations or just a simple HTML website with some basic navigation to your contact details menu and your address so let's assume you need to create a website for a restaurant so if if we google a restaurant website let's say for a sushi restaurant in this case I'm navigating to a restaurant website called Bay Sushi and this is a Japanese sushi restaurant around my area and I'm a very big fan of uh, I'm a big fan of their food and their sushi so if you own a restaurant you have to before they build the, this website they had to specify that there has to be a menu option so if you click on menu you should be able to see the pictures and the the names of their of the foods they have and the price list okay and also there's a contact us page so all these requirements are provided by who all these requirements are actually provided by none but the customer okay the owner of the restaurant has provided these requirements so you have to provide these requirements to the website developer or the project manager so the requirement analysis requirement specification is the very first thing that we get now like I said requirement analysis is the first thing and after you specify the requirements in the software development or website development process then what the developer or the company does they design the specifications basically the design uh, some layouts or they break it down break down the requirements into multiple modules like there has to be a login module users should be able to sign up users uh, there should be a menu the menu options can be a different separate module so they create that uh, draw some pictures uh, create some slides or they basically do a high level design specification of the website or application and in the next phase what happens is developers they start developing the website right so they start writing the codes HTML C C++ Java all different kinds of uh, programming languages are available so based on the product needs developers start coding so first the requirement stage followed by the design specifications and the developer 
develop the start developing the website right so this is not this is something uh, not very unknown to all of you because we all know that this is common sense right this is common sense that this is how it should work right but even though it's a common sense still we have to understand the core concept and the rules of software development life cycle so after the requirement analysis design specifications and start developing the code then we have our next phase which is the testing okay so after the de development completes okay then the testing begins right so who tests the website basically software testers they will be testing the website okay so it's you you may be thinking why why there is a need for a software tester why not the developers themselves test the website if that's because if it's a small project developer will be doing the uh, performing the testing by themselves but if it's a middle uh, medium size or it's a large project uh, usually I mean software development projects are taken in large scale then they have to have testers who actually test the website or application and provide feedback to the developers okay so it's not a very easy job I'll tell you okay so testers test the website and then the last phase comes in okay deployment or production deployment or production is nothing but the production of the website that means the software the website development completes and it goes to the customer it goes live and customer gets access to the website and the product owner in this case the restaurant owner he gets um, access to his website and he can publish the website on the World Wide Web www dot blah 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 dot 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 com right so requirement analysis design specifications then developing the code testing the code and so the testing comes at the very end of the uh, development process and at the end basically the software goes to production or deployment that means it's ready to use now is that all about software development lifecycle or SDLC no there are different ways of uh, performing the software development there are different methodologies okay so SDLC has few different popular methodologies methodologies are nothing but a different process right just like uh, if you eat rice there are different ways of eating rice some people eat rice with hands uh, especially South Asian people they eat rice with their own hands Chinese people will eat that rice with chopstick and some people will eat rice with uh, spoons or forks right so there are different methodologies that we can perform so SDLC has two very popular and two main methodologies uh, over here the first one is the waterfall methodologies okay so waterfall is a very standard and an old way of developing websites and application back in the days we used to use waterfall methodology which is a which is to be the standard uh, way of developing the website gather the requirements uh, design the specifications and start developing the website at the end test the website the whole website test it and put it for production okay the waterfall methodology but nowadays uh, on the 21st century a very popular SDLC methodology came in which is called agile methodology okay so agile methodology is actually basically the new generation and the most popular right now most popular methodology among all the software development methodologies which actually takes a very um, module by module approach for developing the website okay so waterfall methodology is good for big projects okay it's very good for large projects where you have to where the development process can take like six months or probably one year or two years 
very very large project mostly in uh, government agencies they use still use waterfall methodology but nowadays even for medium size or some for some large projects and definitely for small software projects people use agile methodology okay so agile waterfall says that i will develop the whole website or application and at the end i test it and i put it for production if if you find any bug during the testing then you send it back to the developers and they test i mean they fix the code and you test the whole website again and so on okay but agile methodology okay agile methodology came in and it says that uh, no this is not how it should work okay so if you are given a software project for developing a social network just like facebook now agile methodology comes in and say says that i will not be developing the whole facebook application okay it says i will not be developing the whole facebook application in one module okay it takes a very a module by module approach iteration by iteration approach so agile methodology divides that soft social network project into multiple multiple chunks okay so it takes that project and divided into 5 10 or 15 or whatever modules and it de develops the modules one by one and each module is tested before it's uh, considered as completed okay so agile is a more test focus test focused methodology where each and every module is tested so instead of uh, building the whole house okay in one year you'll be developing you'll be taking a room by room approach you'll be building the master bed first and test the master bed everything is fine if something is wrong you make adjustment in the master bed and you test it again and so on once the master bed is done then you move to the master bath the kitchen and the bathroom and so on so it's a more step by step process chunk by chunk process so in this case it's very easy to make changes okay in waterfall methodology whenever you have to make some changes in the requirements uh, the customer may come in and say hey i need a, a different kind so i need a uh, my users should be able to log in with their facebook id so put add that functionality for waterfall methodology it's a big hassle but for, because the whole thing is already being developed or has already been de developed right but agile methodology is takes a very small portion and develop that small portion one by one right so in agile methodology it's very easy to make changes and add change add something or delete something because it's working on uh, for with the small parts of the application so how the waterfall methodology works is very straightforward just like the standard sdlc it takes the requirements design the specification develop the code and at the end the testing comes in and it goes to production and maintenance okay but how agile is different from um, waterfall methodology in agile we definitely start with the requirement and design uh, design and develop that module but in agile it has a iteration based development process so if you have a restaurant agile will divide your project into small different chunks so that means uh, it will you will de develop the home page of this website in iteration one this is the home page okay in iteration one you develop the home page iteration two you develop the menu menu page or menu module and contact us page comes in iteration three okay so instead of developing the whole website and then giving it to the testers for testing you develop module by module and iteration one iteration two three four and so on so the development and testing happens in every iteration so the testing uh, plays a big role here testing will be done in each iteration 
develop the home page test the home page everything is fine then move to the menu page otherwise don't okay so this is what agile methodology believes so I, in different iterations its functionality is different functionality is developed and it is integrated with the next functionality and it is tested okay now the next thing is once all the iterations are completed and tested then it goes to the demo release demo release means it goes the demo version of the application um, is published and is given to the customer who's the customer is the product owner the owner of the restaurant is the product owner or customer the customer provides feedback and he says okay everything looks good but the contact us page should be better it should be this it should be that there should be a contact form instead of just information so users should be able to submit their information to the restaurant or they should be able to book book a seat book a table uh, through the contact us page right so the demo release so in the demo release customer provides the feedback and de developers adjust the changes so a new iteration is added developers adjust the changes in iteration let's say iteration 10 and testers test the iteration the changes test the integration and once everything is done then it goes to system test system test is nothing but testing the whole system and the main functionality of the system and usually testers test the system uh, system test is done by testers and there are some uh, uh, acceptance tests done by the customers as well so customers they do the user acceptance tests so they test the website and say okay yeah everything looks fine then it goes to production production is nothing but the publish uh, it's all about publishing the website or software so the software is published once the system test or the testing is done now this whole process of uh, agile uh, methodology and waterfall method uh, the whole process of agile actually happens in a another within another process and that is called scrum so in the next video let's look at scrum and what exactly scrum